Hey, my friends, welcome back to the Friday Funnies. You know, I'm starting to think that spring is finally here because a sure sign of spring is that the robins are back. Yeah, I saw yesterday, I saw one guy robbing a gas station and two other guys robbing a liquor store. There you go. <laughs> Anyhow, celebrities this week, celebrities and other rich people were called into court to face charges that they bribed school officials thousands of dollars to get their kids into prestigious universities so that they could graduate and become baristas. You know, when I went to college, all it took to bribe my way into community college was a nice crisp $20 bill paper clipped onto the application. Easy peasy. And now that we're in April, March Madness is finally drawing to an end. They're down to the final four, which will soon be the final two, which will then boil down to the final one. And then when the tournament is over, colleges across the country can get back to the important things, like spring break. Well, there is no break this week for the Friday Funnies. Just more jokes about the odd, the stupid, and the unbelievable. You know, the Swedes love their saunas, and I guess when you live in a country that's mostly snow-covered and cold, that the, uh, it's, it's a welcome respite from the chill. Well, this week in Rinkeby, Sweden, which is, I guess, a, a suburb of Stockholm, a naked man was enjoying a nice sauna sweat when another naked man entered the room. The first man was a fugitive from justice who had dodged a jail sentence for aggravated assault. The second naked man was a police officer who recognized the fugitive and told him, hey, I, I don't have my star on right now, but consider yourself arrested. Well, surprisingly, the fugitive did not try to run away, primarily because he was naked and it was cold outside, and he was hauled back to jail. The arresting officer made a couple of long arm of the law jokes and then went back to work. Please hang up and try again. David Hinkst is an engineer in Melbourne, Australia, who is suing his former employer for $1.3 million. His claim is that his supervisor bullied him by constantly, and I quote, breaking wind on or at him. Apparently, the supervisor liked to sneak up on the suspect in his windowless office and let loose with a ripper. And he farted at Mr. Hinks five or six times a day. Well, this week, the case went to court, and a court found that flatulence does not cause bullying. And the case disappeared like a fart in the wind. So evidently, when you visit Australia, it's okay to walk up to somebody and say, Good day, mate, and then pound out a butt blast. I like that in a country. <laughs> Astute Friday Funnies follower Dan Kasmer found this week's Dumbasses of the Week. In Rogers, Arkansas, I believe the home of the double-digit IQ, two men were arrested after performing an experiment of sorts. Charles Ferris and Christopher Hicks were drinking beer on the deck when Ferris came up with a good idea. He donned a bulletproof vest and told Hicks to shoot him with a 22 caliber rifle. Well, he did what he told. He shot him. It left a couple of bruises. Then he said, you put on the vest. So Hicks put on the vest and Ferris shot him a few times. The two men were arrested, but I do not know what the charge was other than being our dumbasses of the week. <laughs> That's it for another week, my friends. Hey, please check out my new podcast, Another Day Above Ground. It's available on either iTunes or podbean.com. It's real funny, it's designed for baby boomers, but everybody gets a chuckle. And I will see you back here next week. <laughs>